hour. I invited four classes here today. Okay. So we'll see how many people show up. Okay. And I'm recording it too, so yay! I'm <laughs> back. We're back and questions will be answered, although I'm going to answer more specific questions about specific classes okay. on our pronto session. Hi. You want to wave everybody? Hi. Oh, hi, Alexia. You can un unmute yourself. The way you unmute yourself is go up to the upper right hand and it, uh, part of your screen or wherever you are in your little picture and hit unmute or you can go to the bottom left and unmute yourself. So either which way. Good to see you. I know we're meeting at an off time and some teachers are forcing everybody to meet at this, you know, at the time of their specific classes, but that's not going to be what we're going to be doing. So, wow, look at this. <laughs> this is awesome. And it's not even 1030 yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in a meeting uh, from nine to about 1010 working with teachers this morning. And that is what I've been doing during my spring break. That's about it, is I, ha I planned on doing some cleaning, mm -hmm. and putting things away, and none of that happened. All I've been doing is working on getting teachers online. That's it. I saw all the uh, prompts, and I'm excited to get started. <laughs> Me too. I, I kept making just different decisions, though, you know, because um, and I'm, I've made different decisions for my 103 class versus my 102 class. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been interesting. I'm looking forward to watching the documentary on August Wilson. I hope that you get to see it. I tried to get you the free one. I, I have purchased it, but I sent mm -hmm. a link to the free one. So hopefully that works. If it doesn't, I'll be depending on you to let me know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, August Wilson is awesome. Yes. <laughs> awesome awesome yeah all right okay so I in a minute I'm just saying hello but in a minute I'm going to actually take a pause and then say welcome because I am videotaping this and I'm gonna keep that part so I'm taking a pause Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> all right welcome everybody it is really good to see everybody that can come. I do want to share with you, I know this is weird, I invited everybody from all four of my face-to-face -face classes here for this brief session. So I do welcome you to speak, but if you are not speaking, what I'm going to ask you to do, so there's mute located in your own little picture area. And so you can mute yourself when you hover over your little picture, you'll have mute and unmute. So I'm gonna ask you to mute yourself just in case. Mute is also located in the lower left, but I do wanna share with you the of our meeting right now. And I'm gonna, let me see, I'm gonna mute, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna let you mute yourselves because there's just too many here. Let's see, manage. All right, so please, if you haven't muted yourself, please mute yourself, and then you can unmute yourself if you wanna say something. Okay, all right, so it is great to see you. And I just wanna share with you that I am really 100% confident that our classes are gonna be just fine. I'm not quite as confident about all your other classes, in terms of the fact that they may be a little bit more bumpy if you have not used the technology in their classes but i am confident that your teachers are trying to figure it out and how do i know that i'm confident about that it's because i myself and a number of others have been really working hard to get everybody used to being online and i think some of your teachers who have never done anything online except for email and grades they're going to be the ones who are the toughest, and I'm gonna ask you to try and be patient with them. With me, just like always, I'm going to make mistakes. So there's gonna be mistakes you're gonna see, like 
maybe I don't have a submit button or maybe it shows something different in the calendar versus what you see in the module. I am going to be constantly trying to work to correct those, correct those mistakes and I'm going to be depending on you to let me know. I already know that there's some issue with something in 103, but I have to double check that. I'm going to wait till we get to the 103 sessions and you can let me know. I probably am not going to send everybody a thank you message right away just to let you know because if 10 people are letting me know about a problem, which is great, let me know. I'm gonna fix it, and then if I have to let you know that I fixed it, I'll send an announcement, or you will see that something has been updated. That way I won't be inundated with um, sending messages, but I do wanna thank you in advance for letting me know of my mistakes, okay? I do wanna share with you that I always teach about half of my classes online, and so this is gonna be something that is just it's gonna be normal for us. It's gonna be our new normal. The one thing though that we've added, which I'm super excited yes, I'm is, excited. is Pronto. And Pronto is gonna be something new that we're using this semester. And so what I'm gonna do this week, and you're seeing this, is we have this one big giant Zoom session, which I don't know that we're gonna do a giant Zoom session again, except for maybe office hours. But we also have Pronto, which I like a lot. And so it was so great this morning as I was meeting with faculty, one of my English 103 classes was like, oh, are we meeting on here? Are we meeting on here yet? No, we're not meeting on here, but it's on the announcement. It was great because you can use Pronto and I don't even have to be there. And so it's great. It's student-centered. Zoom is not student-centered. It's teacher-centered. And so we are going to practice using Pronto. This is my first time, but it is super exciting because another professor and I had a meeting set up about Pronto way ahead of time uh, uh, thinking that this might happen. And what's great about it is that it was not even 24 hours and our, our school adopted Pronto in Canvas, which is a big deal. That never, ever, ever happens. And so um, it's kind of exciting to be that teacher who was one of the two people who were able to get something, <laughs> something working. But Pronto is newer. And so there's going to be glitches and issues. And so I'm going to be asking you guys to even help me with okay. Pronto. So I just wanted to, to say, welcome back. I really wish I could be there for face-to-face. -face. I love teaching online too, but I like my face-to-face. -face. I like both. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves. And I'm going to take a moment to share my screen here where you can see the online my screen here you see we're here and i'm going into my english 103 i want to go into the announcement that you all received just to kind of walk you through it and to share with you that the due dates for all assignments are going to be wednesdays and fridays i will be using live agendas for certain things if you are a class as Kahoot challenges, the Kahoot challenge links are located with in Canvas. I mean, excuse me, located within the live agendas. Um, if if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of Kahoot challenges, don't worry about it. It's not you. I opened up the wrong announcement. I do want to tell you, Zoom always has this little lag time, and I'm constantly thinking about the Jeopardy theme song when that happens because it just takes longer with Zoom. And you may notice that. So I just want to share with you that for most of our class, we're going to be meeting asynchronously, meaning you're going to be doing things online. I am going in the next to in the next couple of weeks decide based on your input if you would like to meet uh, synchronously, which means at a specific mm -hmm. time, like right now, we're meeting synchronously. I'm going to find out if that's what you would like to do once a week once per unit? Would you like to do it on Zoom? Would you prefer to do it on Pronto? Would you like me to do a mix of it? So I think what I'm going to do is set up a poll 
and find out using a Google form and find out what you guys end up prefer to prefer to do. But again, our due dates are now going to be Wednesdays and Fridays, and then your writing projects will be due like normal on Sundays. So we're in our Zoom meeting that's at 1030. I will make sure that we're done at 11. If you have to leave, go ahead and leave. I think that I'm videotaping this. I always choose record every once in a while that messes up. And so I then also have a pronto meeting scheduled. This is different depending on the class. So we're not all at 1115. My 1030 class is at 1115. If you can't meet for this particular pronto meeting, I will try next week to make sure that our pronto meeting is during our class time. We have advised teachers not to require students to be on Zoom at a particular time, like as a hard requirement, but I am assuming since we are all going online that people are trying to maybe keep their time frame. so I will be better about that. I know that the 9 a.m. 103 class, I put at a specific time that is different, and some of you cannot make it, but I will um, either reschedule, well, I'm not going to reschedule, but I will maybe create another opportunity on Wednesday when we would normally meet. And then um, the thing about Pronto. So if you are going to use your phone, you want to download Pronto onto your phone. Uh, you want to sign in using your Cerritos College email only. If you are on doing it on your computer and you go down here and you're signing up for Pronto, that's fine. However, I'm going to open this up. I have found, I'm going to be using my phone today. It's very frustrating for me when my computer isn't working quite correctly and I'm going to be practicing with it a little bit more and David um, who is in my English 102 class he and I have practiced and we're probably going to practice a little bit more if that's okay with you David I will send you a message um, about that but I want to share that if you if you haven't checked the tutorial to go ahead and check it and um, I want to share with you if you're on the computer, even though you have access to Pronto, right down here, you are going to want to make sure that you sign into Pronto. <laughs> Where did it go? Sorry. That's. Excuse me for the moment here. Okay. I just want to make sure that you want to go to that link and I had it right in front of my face and then it moved and Zoom is slow. Okay. There is a link there that if you're on Canvas for the very first time, I want you to sign in, not in Canvas, but sign in. Here it is. This little link. Sign in here first and allow Pronto to use your camera and microphone. I've had to do that more than one time. And what it will do is it'll send you a little link uh, that you have to check your email and put the link in, etc. But once you get on, I to me, I think using it on your phone is much easier than on the computer. So anyway, if you haven't checked out this, I do want to share with you that when I do a live session at the time that we're going to do a live session, what's going to happen is you're going to see a circle at the very bottom. At the very, well, first you'll see a little live stream in process. And then at the bottom center, you're going to see a little circle on your phone that's going to be super bright pink or red or bright pink or purple with a red dot. You have to press on that 
and that has you join. But then when you are really joining, like you want to get in and you want to see people and talk, you have to hit the green video button. It's like a rectangle, green rectangle in the upper left-hand corner. So it's a two step process to join the live stream. What is great is you can create your own live streams with other students. You can create, you can do it with just a group of people. I don't have to be there or you can invite me. And if I happen to be available and I can hop on, I can. You can chat on it and it's, it's fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to using Pronto a little bit more than um, I ever have. So this is gonna be the first time. So rules about Pronto and what we're gonna do with Pronto, they're gonna change over time. And you can decide whether you prefer us to meet weekly on Zoom or Pronto. I'm thinking Pronto, but you, you know, there might be times when it's Zoom. Uh, I did put together a little learning pack that what you can expect from me is I will regularly communicate with you. Uh, you'll hear with me from me a couple of times a week at least. I'm going to be flexible. What does that mean? That means that um, if there's an issue with something, I just expect you to let me know so that um, we can work through it. I know that some of you may not have a private place to meet. I'm actually sitting in my bedroom on my bed. I'm dressed. I already went out and walked my dog this morning, uh, but I'm sitting in my bedroom so that my daughter has access to the other part of the house. Now, there, my husband's at work, uh, so there's only two of us and we're dividing up the house. I can imagine if you are living in a house with five or six people, it might be hard for you to find some privacy. So just, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be flexible, but you know, there's still going to be some due dates for things. Um, I will provide a supportive and trustworthy environment for you to share and discuss ideas. I care about, I will care about you learning. I will treat you with dignity and respect. And I hope you felt that in the first nine weeks of our course. Um, I, and absolutely, I think I started out with this. I'm not gonna be perfect. I'm gonna make mistakes. And uh, I just expect you to kindly let me know. I'm going to expect for you to be an active participant in the course, uh, to do your best to meet due dates, uh, main, maintain an open line of communication with me, contact me when you have concerns, uh, treat your peers with dignity and respect. So please, um, in using Pronto, let's be respectful. We can disagree with one another, but please, um, let's be kind. When you make a mistake, uh, you will view it as an opportunity to learn and grow. And then again, you'll communicate with me to let me know that I've made a mistake. So um, that's it in terms of globally. Globally with uh, all four of my classes meeting here. The classes that are meeting here are two English 102 classes and two English 103 classes. I actually have both of my English 100 classes online. Uh, but so I'd like to open it up to if you have a question to just unmute yourself and you can ask me a question um, and then mute yourself again. If somebody's, you know, starting to talk over you, just one of you goes first. So um, if anyone has a question or has something they would like to say, I would like to invite you to do that now. I have, I have a question. All right. Hey, Noah. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> um, <laughs> um, so is Pronto like our new uh, Canvas? No, no. Pronto oh. is our way of communicating with one another. Uh, it's, it's like FaceTime. Oh. Or, oh. Yeah. It's like a FaceTime, like Instagram sort of instant messaging types of things. Okay. So it's our way that we're going to, one of our ways that we're going to communicate with one another. But no, it's not our new Canvas. You're going to turn in your assignments on Canvas, just like always. Okay. Excellent question. Thanks. Anybody else have a question or something that they'd like to say? Uh, hi. Will you let us know through Gmail when we'll, uh, we'll be meeting up? Yes, it'll be through... 
Um, do you have your, Gabriella, do you have your, um, you're on Canvas and you saw my announcement, right? Yeah, I saw that, it Gmail also. Yes, yeah, so your announcements go to Gmail. Okay, okay. so I just want to remind you that this announcement that you, that you received, that went directly to your email account because you have your Canvas set up to receive the notifications right away. So you can always go through announcements to look at any old announcements. Yes, this is exactly what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using announcements. Okay. Although it could be that one of you decides that you uh, have a question right away and you want to meet up on Pronto. And if you have Pronto set up uh, for notifications where you're receiving those not uh, automatic notifications yeah. and somebody decides they want to meet up and it, may not be me it may be another one of your peers you can um go ahead and meet up and i might hop on too if i can but i will always let you know as the teacher about our planned uh pronto and or zoom meetings okay. yes yes and i will be sending it out via announcements uh, great thank question you. thank you anybody else uh hello Hi. Hey, Derek. Hi. So, um, are the due dates for, like, uh, some of the things changed? Like, I'm just confused. So, like, is the Parker Chapter 8, is that due, like, today later on, or is that going to be due on Wednesday? Okay. So, I am going to have, okay, you got, you're my 1 o'clock pronto, right? Uh, because you're in my 1 o'clock 102 class. The due dates are all going to switch to Wednesdays and Fridays. And what I did was you both English 102 and 103 have the updated calendar for the unit, just this unit. You don't have the updated calendar for everything, just the unit. Um, and it, the updated calendar is, it's, it's, you're not changing the con, we're not changing content at all, at all. We're doing the same content, but how we're interacting with the content's gonna be different. Um, so if you go to the calendar, the calendar will tell you when items are due. And so anything that was technically due a week ago, Monday, I'm allowing you to turn it in through this Wednesday. Although I do recommend that you get it in sooner. And so in terms of due dates, a lot of times when students, if they've never taken online classes before, and that may be all of you or some of you or whatnot, they, uh, online students a lot of times tend to see online classes where they see, oh, these assignments are due on Wednesday, so I'm gonna start the assignment on Wednesday afternoon. That's not a great idea. Just like with my regular classes when I've told you, there are, you know, you have five days between uh, whatever day we met until the next day, and then you have two days in between. You need to start early because you never know exactly how long something's gonna take. So if something is due on Wednesday night, I expect you to, you know, to start it earlier than Wednesday. Now, I will share with you this. For my particular class, and it's my classes, I don't know what other teachers are doing. There's a choice where you can put in due dates and you see it on a calendar. I don't do that, and I think I've shared that with you before, but I, on the calendar, I've said when things are due. So what's gonna happen is, is I did create the calendar and I asked you to all go take a look. I'm gonna send an announcement a little bit later on sharing, okay, this is what's due this week on Wednesday, this is what's due this week by Friday, and I will be doing that weekly, even though the entire unit is going to be open. So um, I, I will also share with you that I say that something is due on Wednesday night at 11.59. If you get it in on Thursday morning at 2 a.m., I don't care. There are other teachers that do though, so you need to sort of pay attention to that, okay? Mm -hmm. Another good question, thank you. I'm gonna miss our Kahoot quizzes live. <laughs> anyway, all right, other questions? It 
So, okay, so I have a question for you then that's completely off topic. Did anyone do anything cool during these two weeks off? Like you did something really kind of exciting and cool? Or did all of you just sort of stay home and did anyone make anything? Did anyone bake anything? Did anyone just sleep? Just sleep? <laughs> you are paranoid. You're paranoid? Well, cause the um, cause the news and all that, so I feel like they're trying to paranoid us mentally. So, you know, it's it's all in everybody's head at the end of the day. You know, just stay healthy and eat good and stay safe. Right. This is an interesting time, but I see it. You know, the way I try to see it is that this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for us to learn new technological tools, and I hope that I feel like I've prepared you enough. So in your other classes, they're going to, you know, you know how to turn in and submit assignments on Canvas. Yeah. You know how to use modules. You know how to do all those things. So to me, it's like you guys are set and prepared. Yeah. Miss, I miss you. I miss you too. Yeah. <laughs> That's very sweet, Maggie. I miss you too. How are you feeling, darling? I'm, I'm so annoyed, but I'm good. Well, I I also want to invite you, but you don't have to, but I am on Instagram. It's my personal Instagram. Miss, I already have you. I know you do, but I'm letting other people know too, Maggie. I am at that Janet Mitchell Lambert. So that T-H-A-T, Janet Mitchell Lambert. And if you want to follow me, I'll follow you back. If you know, you don't have to, no obligation, but I'm on Instagram and you can see some of the silliness on there. Yeah, but I do miss, I miss you too. But you know, we're gonna meet. We're gonna meet. And if you know, like I said, if if there's a poll, if I turn do the poll and people go, yes, we want to meet, you know, once or twice a week on Zoom or Pronto, then we'll do that. Some people may go, no, I'm kind of glad not to have to see your ugly face twice a week and listen to you. <laughs> so there's options. Anybody else? Does anyone have any questions about Pronto? Did everybody download it on their phones already? Yes. Mm -hmm. is, is Pronto the same thing as Zoom? It's similar to Zoom. Okay. Zoom, it's similar, but straight, what it is, is it is, it's similar to FaceTime. It's similar to messaging and Instagram. Okay. You can chat, you can do emojis, you can send GIFs, you can do a little <laughs> live stream. You know how- Can, can you turn in your assignments or like, how does that no, work? Or it's no. just something for fun, like to decide like if you need help? Well, I mean, it's for fun, but it's also to help support one another. And we may meet, you know, how we're meeting right now in Zoom. We might just substitute that with Pronto. We might, okay. not. we might, we might not. Okay. And I think all of you, I made you sign up for a voice thread account. Is that correct? For Pronto or? No, no, no. This is separate. I'm, I'm, let me peel this off. But we're not talking about Pronto anymore. We're going to talk about VoiceThread. Both English 102 and 103 have used VoiceThread before, correct? I think so. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that. What? I'm not so sure what that is. Okay. So one of the things that I'm going to be asking you to do, VoiceThread is one word, and I'm going to be asking you to make sure that you sign up for an account it's free and then you are going to have some tutorials and interactions on VoiceThread. okay it's just another piece of technology it's like an interactive slideshow or voice something that we download on our phone Fred, do you want us to have yeah do you want us to have the app after the website um, well, I think you should do both because then that way you can actually access it on your phone if you want to, but it's the same thing. Once you sign up for VoiceThread and if you decide to download the app, you just sign in there. Um, yes, uh, I, VoiceThread, 
for English 103, which did Socratic seminars. Instead of Socratic seminars, we're going to be doing voice thread. You are still going to be watching films. Okay. My English 102 classes, um, I believe I sent tutorials for like MLA, et cetera, using voice thread, uh, like mini lectures. Um, so that's what I'm going to be, you know, you're going to, some of them are going to be mini lectures. Some of them are going to be interactive, but I will show you how to do voice thread. And I think one of the things I was going to do, but I lost time because I, like I said, I've been working really hard these last two weeks, uh, without much of a break, but I want to do an introductory voice thread where I'm asking you how you're doing and it'll be a good time to practice. So once we're done meeting, I think I'm going to be doing that today after all of my little poncho sessions with you guys. In fact, I'm going to write it down on my phone as a note for things for me to do. I use my notes on, <laughs> on uh, my phone for everything. All right. Yes. All right. Any other questions or things that you'd like to say? We are going to meet on Pronto. Um, every one of my classes, except for one English, one English 102, we're going to meet tomorrow morning. If you're my 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, um, I apologize. For my 9 a.m. 103. If our meeting time is conflicting with another class, but we'll have another opportunity to meet on Pronto, so you can practice using it. Is there anything else that you guys would like to say or any other questions? Uh, oh, yes. so the oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, since I'm a note taker and for doing note thread, would I still have to, I don't know how I would do notes. I'm not, we've only, I, been, that, is, that is a good question. I am, uh, let's come back to that because I'm not thinking that you'll still need to do that. Um, but if students who have note takers, I'm thinking you're not going to have to do that, but let's leave it open just in case. Okay. And if, somebody, if, if the person that you are note taking for requests for you to take notes, I guess you can send some notes. Okay. I guess that's my suggestion. Okay. That's a great question. I hadn't thought about okay. that. So if um, we're meeting tomorrow for the 102 class at 9, where are we meeting exactly? On Pronto. Okay. So make sure you have the app downloaded. Mm -hmm. And what will happen is that you just open it up and you'll see live stream. And you will click on the live stream. And then there'll be a round pink, like bright pink dot that you click on that. And then you'll click on the green uh, video rectangle in the upper right hand corner after you've clicked on that that uh, purple dot. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? Does um, Professor do all your classes meet on the Pronto at eleven fifteen as well? No, just just your class. And when your class meets, I'm going to talk about your class specifically. Oh, okay. Are you still going to be doing, are you still going to be talking to every class, like every, like every week or once a week or just for I right don't now? know. I don't know. It depends on, I'm going to put a, a, a poll together and see what people want to do. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. That's, that's the, that's the, I'm not sure. We'll see what you guys want to do. The, the plan right now is we did the Zoom we're doing the pronto, and then next week I was planning on scheduling another pronto, but making sure that it was taking place during your regularly scheduled class time, mm -hmm. and then giving you guys um, the Google form then and asking you what you wanted to do. So, okay. you know, because I think, you know, most of you are not just taking my class, you're taking everybody else's classes too. Yeah. And I think after, an, a week or a week and a half or so, you'll have a better idea of what you really want to do better than right now. Wait, so are we supposed to meet like for, for our other classes? Is it supposed to be directed as to like, or if we're going to meet on zoom or pronto? I have no clue what your other teachers are doing. 
they okay. if they have not contacted you yet i'm sure they will contact you by the time you're normally supposed to meet it just right. depends i it, some some people some of you are going to have great teachers who feel really comfortable with everything and some of you are going to have some of you might have classes where the teacher does not know what he or she are doing and you just need to be patient with them all right i don't know good question we we encourage uh, teachers got notifications please send your students uh, uh an announcement letting them know what you're going to be doing but it doesn't mean that every teacher is following that particular piece of advice thank you i hope you know and if you end up having some questions like hey professor so and so is doing this do you have any suggestions <laughs> suggestions and i will i can try to give you some suggestions so we're still meeting it's what's interesting is that um, we had all these tutorial sessions last week, like 20 of them, and we're going to have another 20 this week, and I'm doing some of the drop-in sessions, and I have had lots of teachers coming and asking questions and getting advice. So there's, they're trying to figure out how to do it. And then some of your teachers are full-time faculty who've never used technology. Some of your teachers are part-time faculty who've never used technology. And so I just, I have no clue um, out of the over a thousand teachers what they're choosing to do. All right, thank you. All right, anybody else? Okay, so let me share one last thing and then we'll go. So I have at 11.15, in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna be meeting with my 10, my 10.30, uh, English 103 class. I'm going to be meeting with my 9 a.m. English 103 class at noon. I apologize to you guys. I had a meeting at 9 a.m. so I couldn't do it. Um, and I will try to do a makeup little pronto practice session, although you could do it with your friends very easily. And then tomorrow morning, I have, uh, or sorry, at 1 p.m. today, I have my regular English 102 1 p.m. And then at a uh, uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow, I have the 9 a.m. English 102 class. And again, I hope you're, you guys are able to come. If you can't, you know, do what you can do. I think these sessions are helpful. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the plan. Any last questions before I end the meeting? I will be sending any videos that I make, like I'm gonna download this and I'm gonna create a video, but it's gonna take some time for it to ha for it to be created. And I'll be doing my pronto session in 10 minutes um, for a particular class. Uh, it'll take a little bit, but I will be linking the videos to announcements always. That's where you will find those videos. Oh, and for Pronto, my suggestion is have your phone, but also if you have a computer, if everybody has a laptop in addition to their phones or a tablet in addition to their phones, have your phone with you to do the Pronto, have your computers open to Canvas and the live agendas uh, on your computer. So, because I'm gonna be just accessing those on my computer as well and talking you through what we're doing. All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you.